Hello YouTube, today I'm stripping the 1984 Grand National original headliner. So, the foam and the original backboard was still good, but the fabric was falling apart. So, I decided to strip it down and rip it down while I had it stored in my storage. As you can see here, I'm pulling away at the fabric, getting it all ready, so I can glue down the new synthetic fabric that I've chosen to throw over the old baseboard. I'm getting ready to work on the headliner. I got some fabric right here, it's synthetic. Got some headliner adhesive from 3M. Staples for the backside if necessary. Scissors obviously, heavy for fabric. And we're gonna be getting ready to wrap this. I got a bigger piece of fabric right here and now it's gonna go over the top of that old headliner. I originally glued the edges of the foam back down got it all ready on the back side repaired anything but as you can see the headliner foam and contour is still really good for how old this is and with a black headliner it's gonna give this card a little bit of pop that it needs versus that standard grayish tan look that the nationals got and it's gonna still keep the original look with just changing just a little bit without making it not numbers matching now, so since I'm uh, just one person filming this, you're gonna have to basically shake your can for about two minutes. Try not to do it with holding my camera up. It's gonna cause more shaking than's necessary. And we're gonna spray this whole section. Here, obviously, I still have to shake it out and clear off the fabric. You get the point. You're gonna spray this whole section and the top of that all evenly. Now, I could show you on here because. And I'm not worried about the little imprint that the scissors just put because they just, you know, the foam popped right back up as we were talking. Um, I'm going to soak this liberally with a good amount of glue. And like I said, I'm doing it outside for better ventilation and a nice wide space. Walk around. And of course, it's a windy day. I would pick the windiest day to do it. Now I'm spraying on the fabric too with the glue, so remember to put an even amount on here. You could do a 50% overlap as you see here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure you have glue on both sides. And let this sit for a second, and then we can press it together. All right, guys, so now I had to act fast. I know I couldn't film in on only one person. I kind of flipped over the headliner, and they start from the center, and you press it out. I have extra fabric. I'm going to still trim it out. Get these corners all fresh and peeled over. Same with this. This is all extra stuff right here that I'm going to trim off fabric. As you can see, the indentations are in there. Everything is all nice and smooth. This is the edge, so... Don't think that there's a crease there. That's right where it has to be cut. So this is what it looks like rough. And that's why I left it long. And you can always trim it at the end, but you can never get extra material. So let's get on in there and um, cut it all up. All right, as you can see, it is the original headliner. And um, I'm basically re-upholstering and gonna be pulling these corners over and trimming this as close as I can but I do want to leave a little fabric and kind of get it around this edge. I want to re-pull this over, but cut it right about here. Got my scissors right there. You can use a knife, do whatever you want. But right now, I'm pretty much going to have to put my phone down, get on in there, and trim that edge. All right, guys, so I basically just stapled down this side. It doesn't have to be super pretty, but I put on extra. That's why I said that. Hold down the corner right there. But we're gonna basically either use glue and we're gonna do the same on this side, pull it over there, 
and you get the stapler on there. I am using quarter inch staple, six millimeter if you want to say that, so that it still doesn't go through the foam on the other side. And this will put a stronger adhesion in the glue, and this will allow the headliner to keep its edge a lot better on the other side. And I'll show you once I flip it over how it looks. All right, guys, so I am back and I am all finished with the headliner and it looks brand new. So you see the indentations are there for the actual um, hooks that still go up there. But for an 84, this looks real good. And like I said, again, it saved a ton of money instead of buying some. So like I said, this is always a way to go if you know how to do it. Just follow yourself through it, take your time, and just remember once you do spray it, it's kind of a one-time um, job. You press it on there, and if you try to lift it up, since it's such an old headliner, you're going to probably rip the foam underneath, so you kind of really have to take your time to get no wrinkles in it, just like this. It looks really good, and for how the headboard was underneath, I am really glad... Now remember guys, if you want to watch more stuff like this, stay tuned. And if you want to see any more progress on this 84 National T-Top, just remember that we're here. Like I said, I did the underneath just like this, all the way around. All nice and cleaned up. So, take your time. And I really did save this thing, so this is what you got to do.